Welcome back. It is time for another Reviving Old Eyeshadow Palettes video and I'm so excited to use the ColourPop So Jaded palette. This is one of my favorite palettes in my entire collection. I think it is just such a great color story. I do like the formula as well. I wouldn't say it's my favorite formula, but I really love the colors in here. It's a great combo of neutrals and colors and I think it makes sense together. So. I have done other looks with this palette on my channel. I think I've done two other looks. I'll try to link those in the description box. You can always search on my channel page if there's something that you're wondering if I've done. Every channel has like a little search thing where you can just search that person's channel. So FYI, if you want to see the reviving old eyeshadow palettes playlist, there's tons of videos there with other older palettes. I'm just trying to highlight that there are older palettes that are still great because yeah, palettes get forgotten about pretty quickly on YouTube. So I will link the playlist products in the description box. Let's get started. I've been trying to think since yesterday what colors to use. There really are a lot of options. I mean, you could do a neutral look, you could do a very colorful look, or you could do anything in between. Um, hmm. I think I definitely want to use the greens and maybe the purple. So yeah, let's just, let me grab a brush. Where'd it go? Here it is. I'm already wearing the Milani Eye Primer as usual. I wanna start with this color Jade. So let me, yeah, the problem is, is this palette, it is kind of large. So I have to maneuver around it. <laughs> um, all right, so let's put this, yeah, here, yeah, these mattes are actually pretty pigmented. And I am using, I got an amazing PR package from Odin's Eye, which I'll talk more about in an, another video. But I've actually been enjoying the brushes that they sent me. Yeah, this is kind of intense here, but I like that. Yeah, sometimes I plan out these looks and then other times I just kind of do whatever. Today is a do whatever day, apparently. <laughs> okay, so let's go with, actually, yeah, I need a different brush. I just washed all my brushes last night and rearranged them. It feels good. Um, okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. I think I want to go with turquoise here and do outer corner and like right up there to connect them. Yeah, look how pigmented these mattes are. Very pigmented. Okay. This color, wow. I mean, that's really intense. Okay. I will have to do more blending later, but let's just kind of like get these colors going. I need my setting spray, here we go. And let us know if you have this palette. Now, I know this palette was discontinued. However, they have since come out with two other larger palettes. I cannot even remember the names right now because ColourPop comes out with so many palettes who can keep up. Um, but they have some similar color stories, so. Okay, let's go with Amethyst, the purple. And I think I'm gonna not wet the brush for this color. I want to put it like right in here. That's a nice purple. Look at that. Look how pigmented. I didn't even wet the brush. That looks nice. Ooh, I like that. So far, I'm enjoying this color combination. It was kind of a, this has been a spur of the moment makeup look, which is fun. That's why makeup is fun. I like makeup. Um, okay. I like that. I need to definitely, let's blend this green more. I just, yeah, I'm not gonna add anything to the brush, but yeah, that's helping. Okay, other side. 
Yeah, and did you guys get those bigger palettes? I wish I could remember the names, but I know a lot of people I follow on Instagram did get at least one of those new, it's called like Jewel or something, I don't know. <laughs> Who can keep up with ColourPop releases, honestly? That is just, that would be a full-time job on its own, just to keep up with everything ColourPop was doing. Um, all right, now I've been debating what to what shimmer to put here i was thinking either peridot which i love that color or emerald you know i think i want to do emerald and then i could do peridot on the inner corner that would be fun i really think peridot is one of my favorite shades in this entire palette so let's spray this one um Wow, that is pretty. That's a really nice Christmas green. And there's actually a red in here too. Um, what is it called? Amethyst? Or no, Ruby. That could be a really fun Christmas red and green look. Hmm, maybe I'll do that. That is nice, okay. Whoops, other side. Yes, yeah, so I am planning, I know a lot of people do Vlogmas or they upload a lot in December. I definitely can't upload every day. I just don't have time for that. But this week I am hopefully gonna have six videos instead of the usual four. For me, it's more because there's just so many finales and end of year videos that I wanna do. It's hard to fit everything in. So this week I'm planning on six videos. Beyond that, we'll see. I don't know exactly how many I'll be able to get up the other weeks. It may still just be the usual four, but keep an eye out for that. I like this. I think I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more blending, clean up the fallout. As you can tell, yeah, there's definitely a lot of fallout and I'll be back. I do wish the eyeshadow here looked a bit more blended, but it's fine, I'm not gonna worry about it. I put on the Believe Beauty Primer and on my face that I need to blend out, I have combination of Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I, I love this combo. This may be like the best complexion combo that I've ever tried. Estee Lauder Double Wear is just so long lasting and just it just works for my skin. It is also in a project pan, so I am trying to use it up, but I would absolutely repurchase because I have repurchased it many, many, many times. I'm trying to think how many bottles of that I've repurchased through the years, maybe seven, eight, something like that. But I've mentioned in another video that I did get the Yensa Foundation in PR earlier this year and it's actually the closest thing to double wear that I've ever tried. Let me show you. I talked about it in another video. Um, the Yensa BC Foundation. This is crazy. It's so similar to double wear, on my skin anyway. It just, it looks similar and it has really good lasting power, which like I said, is one of my favorite things about double wear. So kind of exciting. I mean, price-wise, the Yensa is still pretty expensive. It's $38. Double wear now, I mean, that's been going up in price for years. I think it's up to like $43 or something. I don't know. Okay, Too Faced Concealer. I did make a lot of progress on this. I've used it so much. I like it though. I mean, you know, I think some of these things, like this is also in a project pan. And I've had this for well over a year and I use it all the time. You get one fluid ounce and then this you get half a fluid ounce, which for a concealer is a lot. So you know what? If these high-end products last that long, then at least you get your money's worth, honestly. Okay. Yeah, this part out here, I'm like, yeah, I wish it looked better, but it's fine. And if you saw, or actually, no, it's not up yet. <laughs> um, I filmed my empties video for the month. That should be up this week. I finally finished that Charlotte Tilbury powder. So 
I know. I'm going to actually use a different face powder, which, you know, it's been a while since I've done that. So I'm going to use, I bought this, I think, around summertime. It's the Dior powder, no powder. I have the shade 2N neutral. I like this, but then occasionally, sometimes I feel like I can see a few shimmers on my face from it. I'm not sure. But it's really nice that it's not like cakey at all. And it's almost like hard to pick anything up on the brush. I know people really love this powder and I like it, but I'm not sold that it's like the best thing ever. But I do like that it's just, it's not, like the Charlotte Tilbury and a lot of other powders that add some coverage. If you put too much on, that's when you can look cakey. And that definitely does not happen with that Dior one. So that's something. Um, there we go. So something else I've been thinking about doing to switch it up is maybe like a monthly testing new makeup video where I do a similar video to this where it's just like a get ready with me, but using newer makeup that I have purchased or maybe got in PR. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking about doing that. I've done a video like that once or twice on my channel, but not really beyond that. So I don't know, random, just something I was thinking about. Um, oh, I will be filming Black Friday haul, but I did get the refer brushes and I really like them. I particularly like the face brushes. So this one I like a lot. This is brush five. I love this one for bronzer. I'm using Bare Minerals Faux Tan. I have to, these pick up a lot. So that is something I've noticed. They pick up a lot of product because they are natural bristles. But yeah, the other one that I, I will use for blush brush four. Oh man, I really like them. I like the eye brushes too, but I'm not as like wowed by them. But these two face brushes are so good. I want to get more of their face brushes because I got the rest of the brushes I bought were eye brushes, but these two were face brushes and they're really, really, they're good. Okay, four blush. Like I said, I got an amazing PR package from Odin's Eye. I'm so excited. I've really wanted to try their products. So I have their Alva Fruit Blushers. Um, they sent me five of these. This shade is called Ripe Papaya. Really pretty. It's like a peachy pink. And I've used a couple of the other shades that they sent me. They're blushes. I was looking on their website. Good price. They're only $13. And I think they're real. Look at, <laughs> they're pigmented. Part of it may be, like I said, this brush, I've just noticed, picks up a lot of product. So, but they blend it out, but you have to like work. So I really think this is looking more intense because these refer brushes, they're intense, but I like how blended it looks. Like I really liked how blended the bronzer looks. I don't know. But I'm really enjoying the Odin's Eye blushes. And I've only tried, they sent me several palettes. I've only tried two of the palettes so far, but I'd like to do a look with at least one of those. Big fan, really enjoy that. For highlight, I'm going to use the one in the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm palette. It's just like a champagne type color, but I like it. Okay. I like it. And then finishing powder as usual. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's a mess of makeup over here. It's fine. This is just what happens. 
dim light and diffused light. So lower lash line, that's what I've been debating about. And I've also been loving this refer blush or <laughs> refer brush, hard to talk, uh, for the lower lash line. This is brush 26. Hmm. What do we do? I think I want to go with Jade the green on the lower lash. And yeah, again, the refer brushes pick up a lot of product. That's just what I've noticed. So definitely have to be careful with that. But I really like how they blend. I really do. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of glides on. This color, like a dark kind of khaki green, it's really nice. And then, yeah, I think I want to do Peridot on the inner corner. That shade is so pretty. Alrighty. Okay, so do I have a smaller brush I should use for that? And I'll just have brushes, but I'll just go with my usual Q-tip method. So Peridot, this really pretty, it's like a lime green type color. The Super Shock Shadow, you cannot see what I'm doing. <laughs> In Telepathy is kind of similar. I used to have that one, but this one's a bit brighter, whereas I think Telepathy was a bit more of like a greenish gold, whereas this has more lime green, if that makes sense at all. All right, I like the look, I do. This part, outer corner, could be better, but it's fine. All right, I'm gonna do brows, mascara, lips, I'll be back. Here we are, final look. I do really enjoy this. This outer corner is kind of annoying me, but it's fine. I think this is a really fun, smoky, but colorful look. I like how it turned out. The lip combo of the day, Anastasia Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick. These I really like that Odin's Eye sent me the Alva Matte Lip Stain in the shade Ripe Papaya. This is a really, really interesting color. It's like an orangey type brown. So I just lightened it up a little bit with the Anastasia Lipstick and I was in the mood for a gloss, so Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Moon. This is great. This isn't a project pan. I'm making a lot of progress on that though. So that is the lip combo. And I do like the look. I really think this color story, this is pretty intense, but this palette, I think this is so fun because you have such variety of colors, neutrals, but it's not just like a thrown together rainbow palette. So yeah, let us know. Do you have this one? If you want to see the other Reviving Old Palettes videos, check out the playlist. Products will be listed in the description box. Stay tuned because I am planning six videos for this week. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.